Long recoil is one of the more mechanically interesting operating systems, but also one of the scarcest. When the gun is fired, the recoil energy that's generated by the projectile going forward causes the barrel to recoil backwards, and it's locked into the bolt, and the two of them will travel together the entire length of the cartridge, hence long recoil. As you can see, the barrel and the bolt go together. At the end of travel, the bolt is going to lock in the rearward position. The barrel then comes forward on its own recoil spring. This is where the ejection happens, as the cartridge, the empty cartridge case, is locked into uh, the face of the bolt, and the barrel pulls forward off the front of it. When the barrel goes all the way forward, it triggers a release, which allows the bolt to slam forward, chambering the next cartridge. This system was used in literally every major type of firearm, from light machine guns, to rifles, to shotguns, to even handguns. You can see the principle at work here in this Frommer stop. I'm using a stick to push the barrel back. Here the bolt and the barrel reciprocate backwards until they lock at the extent of travel. Then the barrel slides forward. When the barrel is fully forward, the bolt closes, chambering a new cartridge. The advantage of this system is that it is extremely safe. Because the bolt and the barrel have to travel backwards a relatively long distance, there is a relatively large amount of time available for pressure in the barrel to drop before the whole system unlocks. The downside of the system is that it is quite complex, and requires two separate return springs, one for the barrel and one for the bolt. On most guns, the empty cartridge case is ejected when the barrel is recoiling backwards, and the empty case is kicked into an ejector at quite high velocity. Long recoil is the exception to this rule, because the bolt travels all the way back, stays in place, and then the cartridge is kicked out by an extractor after the barrel pulls off the front. This means that long recoil guns tend to look like they have very weak ejection, as they tend to eject cases in a very short uh, and slow arc right outside of the receiver. The other downside of long recoil systems is that they tend to have relatively high felt recoil, because the mass of not just the bolt, but the bolt and the barrel is travelling backwards and coming to an abrupt stop at the end of the receiver. These designs virtually all date from the early 1900s, during the early developmental era of self-loading firearms, when designers were still working on figuring out the best, safe methods for developing systems like this. Hopefully this has answered some of your questions about the long recoil operating system. I'm Ian McCollum for Forgotten Weapons. Thanks for watching.